Yeah. <clears throat> Hello everyone, and um, here is an idea that I think it might help us all in less than a minute a day. You know. So I call this video a one minute solution that might help all TIs, targeted individuals basically, you know. I think this idea is great. I think this idea is just, uh, you know, it's easy to be done, but it's need participation. It needs people motivated to just do something about the whole situation. Okay. So let's start the versions of the idea. Now you have this man on the left side. His name is Gamal Khashoggi. I don't know if you have never heard about this man, but this man you should have actually heard about on the news or anywhere. Like, you know, you have to have heard about this guy. You know, this guy was a dissident to the Saudi government and he was like a human rights activist. And he worked for the Washington Post and he just, you know, he was a writer and journalist, right? But this man was just, you know, criticizing the Saudi government for some wrongdoing or something that he is not in league with them, like he is not agreeing with them, right? So this man, uh, Gamal Khashoggi, has just... Uh, he was about to develop some organization or some an institute that might help all those in Middle East that, um, you know, having troubles with, you know, freedom of speech, right? Because in the Middle East, you don't have freedom of speech. So he thought that he can do something to help those who, um, who, uh, who cannot get their voices heard, heard right? So that man is Gamal Khashoggi, right? Now, just to tell you a little bit about what has happened, um, this man has went uh, once in the Saudi embassy. Inside the Saudi embassy, he um, he encountered uh, this, the death squad of the Saudi government, which they actually just slaughtered him. They just chopped him up. They have just, you know, murdered him. And later on, they burned his body, like, the remaining of his body parts, basically, you know, and um, yeah, and um, that happened in Turkey, and you know, um, and uh, yeah, his wife was actually waiting outside of the embassy, but uh, the Saudi government says we don't know where his, his whereabouts. He just left uh, the embassy, and we don't know what has happened to him. But you know, it turned out to be that the Saudi government have actually ordered the hit on this man, and they murdered him. Yeah, so that's um, that's like you know who's who's the the the, uh, the source of the idea. You know that's that is the man. Okay, so that's the source of the idea. Now let me tell you what the idea is about. Now Kamal Khashoggi, just why he came up with this idea. First of all, the idea was something called the electronic piece. Okay. Now, electronic bees has, you know, um, originated from to like it is originated to respond on the Saudi government. Um, what's so called electronic flies now, electronic flies were about to, you know, let's say they want to have a tweet of the king or of the prince or whatever. They wanted to be this tweet on the top 10 in, the Saudi, Arabia, in Saudi Arabia. What they do, they had something called this electronic flies. Electronic flies is basically just simply a place where there's a lot of individuals just sitting there. And the only thing they do, the only job is to just tweet what the king has said, right? And they have to just, you know, to like tweet it not just once, like retweet it like 100 times, right? Those individuals has a lot of phones. They had a lot of, you know, um, a lot of um, Twitter accounts and all of that to just exactly do that. Now, that was one main object of this electronic flight. The other thing was to counter the dissident's tweets, right? So let's say a, like a dissident just tweeted something about the, 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 the government, for example, right? These electronic flies would just go into this, you know, dissident uh, tweet and they just start to spread, like they're starting to spread the misinformation or they, they just start to spread, you know, 
the opposite of what the dissident is saying, basically. So that they take this tweet somehow, or in this way, they take it down. You know, now let's say you are a critic to the government, for example, or you are just a neutral individual, right? And you just see this dissident just write something, and there's other person, like you know, just in a comment of the tweet, he's just saying something else, right? So they will just keep confusing you that way. That's how they will take the tweet down, you know. So actually, Gamal Khashoggi and another individual, um, they just thought about starting something called Electronic Bees. Now, Electronic Bees is this. You are actually, your job is to actually do what the government does, but with a lot of dissidents or a lot of people who support the dissidents. You know, if we could just call them a dissidents, you know, because they are not dissidents. Like, you know, they are just somebody who just, you know, think like he's just saying what what is right. You know, that's, you know, but the government would just, you know, call them dissidents. But anyways, so that's what's electronic bees. Now, I have just told you, like, the idea, the main idea. Now, let's just apply these ideas to our situation as a target individual. Now, this B on the screen, it just here, right? You are the target individual, and you are the B, like at the moment, right? Now, as a B, what you are doing, basically, as most of target individual does, you just write a tweet, you know, on Twitter, and it gets you like 100, maybe 200 likes, maximum. You just write something on Facebook, like on your personal page and you just you know write that you have been tortured tonight by the fucking police for example right or you just send an email to the government or one or two emails or three max a week to just you know let the government knows that there's something wrong is going on right and you just send an emails to the organization human rights organization or whatever to just help you out in the torture you know, but none of those things works. Why? Because your tweet as one individual is just hard to have an impact, right? Your just status on Facebook, it's hard to make an impact. Your three emails to the government, it's hard to make an impact because you are one individual, right? Your emails to the organizations, they just, you know, it's, it's one email at a time, you know, and still hard to make an impact. So how to you using those four things or those four tools in your hands, how you could just make an impact, you know? So let's go to the next slide. So the Gamal Khashoggi's idea that you as an individual, together with another target individual, with another and another and another, you know, too many target individuals basically, Right? Oh, okay, I skipped one. All right? Too many target individuals. Now, the idea is this. Now, let's say that there is congressman who just writes a tweet, right? And there is 1,000 target individuals who has one person. Let's say there's one person has created a Twitter account, right? This Twitter account is for target individual. And this person has 1,000, like 1,000 target individuals, right? Now, let's say we want our voices to, hear, to be heard by one congressman. Now, this congressman will write something on Twitter. Now, that person who just have, you know, the, the, the followers of that individual will just tell them, you need to go to this congressman and you just need to write this tweet, right? So this congressman will receive a thousand tweets in less than an hour stating something about target individual. Now, he has to, to see that and he has to respond to that, you know. Even if he didn't respond to that, the other media who follow him, this person, they will have to look at this 1,000 tweet that say there's something about the individual, right? That's the main idea. The main idea is to attack in number, or attack in numbers, right, as the government does, you know, because if you are, target, if you are a legit target individual, you will just know that they are attacking us in numbers, right? With their authority figure and with their money. So anyways, to keep it short, that's the main idea that I was thinking about, you know? And that it's inspired from the story of Hashajgi. Exactly, I, you know, it, there's, that's the main inspiration about it.
you know, because it's effective, it's legal, and it has an impact. You know, it's 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 really really a great idea. I think it's a great idea to just actually do that, right? Again, if you just Facebook or you know or an organization that you think that might help, if one thousand or two thousand target individual in one minute or an hour just storm it this you know website or storm it this Facebook or storm it this Twitter tweet and wrote something about target individual. Those who has posted, they will receive at least a notification on their phone that says, you know, at the beginning of the comment, target individuals, right? They will have to read that. They will have to look at it, you know? It's, it's, and somehow you are just forcing your way to be heard, you know, and instead of being ignored as we are being ignored, you know? And it's like 100% legal, you know? If you take like one minute of your day, and if that, like, let's say we have um, a Twitter account that has, you know, this thousand followers. If that Twitter account just tried today, we are just going to do this. And 1,000 took a minute of the day and just wrote this tweet in this place. It will have an impact. Because what we are doing as target individuals, me just reporting to some organization, another target individual reporting to another. You know, we are just distracted. You know, what I'm saying is this, you know, it's uniting the, the, the target individuals in one direction and just start to attack, you know, and it's legal on the person. That's the idea. So, yeah. so how to make this idea works? Um, yeah, we need participation, you know, from other people. This video should reach to those who have more than 1,000 1, followers, because actually what I'm thinking about is that if you an individual has one thousand more than one thousand views, or more than one thousand followers on YouTube or on Twitter account or whatever, you could actually help us achieve this goal, right? And for every target individual on good, everyone should participate, of course, because if you didn't participate, you think I would be defending you, and you are not willing to defend yourself. You know, actually, you know, I was listening to um, uh, let's let's not go tired, like. Let's focus on the subject, right? So, yeah, hit on the right target. Uh, I mean, you have a misinformation by the government who claims aliens, who claims, and they are just pretending to be target individuals, but they pretend they are like, uh, they just, you know, claim there's aliens attacking them. There's whatever attacking them, you know, uh, insurance fraud, whatever. But it's the fucking government. I know that, and every, target, every legitimate target individual, they know that it's the government and it's the police, right? So we need to combat that, you know? So if you have, like, if you're an individual, just write one tweet on Twitter, and you have a disinformation agent just watching your, your, just your website, he will just, you know, tweet back to you that, oh, you're just, you know, you're just lying. But when 1,000 saying this on one tweet, they cannot just respond to 1,000, you know? Because if one person responds to 1,000, it will just, you know, it will just, like get them caught with hand, you know. So that's an idea. Have our voices heard, delivered. It's it's a great way to deliver our voices. That's all what I have to say about it. We need a web designer. Um, we need someone who just understand the um, you know the IT issues, you know, because he has to protect this you know Twitter account. He has to you know organize. Uh, what to do next and he has to you know organize you know how it's going to be done what are we going to say you know how to make our voices here in two fucking sentences basically so that's what i'm thinking that a web designer he will help our case maybe if this goes further it, it might help us in building a website to just come back that i don't know this idea is great and it needs you know, it needs some attention. So, yeah. Um, so, if you think that this idea is worthy, and you think of an idea that could take this idea one step ahead, just let me know in the comments section. That's all what I have to say, actually. If you do like the idea, just, just tell me what you think, you know. And it might help us go further, 
you know it might just stop the fucking torture man you know at least i'm trying you know but what else we should do other than try you know um just hit me up or just write in the comment section if you if you comment someone who has more than 1000 followers just tell us who that person might be and we can, but he has to be a legitimate target individual you know he has to be a legitimate one. so um i hope you're having a good day i hope that you know you're all well and, and safe you know because this target and shit is just horrible you know yeah and all, that's all i have to say thank you very much for your attention actually and um yeah thanks for your attention